I definitely appreciate it. The BFA and games, that's right. But yeah, like I was talking about, we don't have a discount code for Origin, but if you're looking for an Origin PC and you want to let them know that we sent you, definitely be sure to use that link. And those links are obviously in the chat with that command. It's also, we have an Origin PC panel below the stream, and then you can find it in my YouTube description as well. For sure. Yeah. Like, I don't think the Legion model for, like, for, like, arms and Fury is bad. I thought, I think it could use a few things. And I think that would be cool if, if they added a few of those things in to, to, you know, give, you know, warriors a little bit more utility. Um, I, I always thought, like, some sort of more reliable self healing would be cool, but it's sort of, and then what ends up happening is, though, then you have a talent row that makes you choose between mobility, healing, and utility, and that's and that's like all you've got. And so it's like, I don't know if that's really the right direction, but we'll see. Only streamer actually take time to watch, so it's worth popping off. Well, thank you very much. There's a lot of great streamers out there, I assure you. But the fact that you uh, spend your time here and enjoy the stream enough to power up like that really means a lot to me, man. So thank you for that, dude. Tremendous amount of support and just you know, appreciative of your viewership as well, man. Thank you. Oh. We're up in Stormwind then, huh? Okay. We up in there. Let's go. Battle Shadow's kind of added utility. I mean, it's it's it, it's not like skillful utility, right? You just press it and your your team is buffed for the next hour. That's cool. But, uh, I don't know. Is it true that Warrior is bullshit so far? No. Warrior is not BS so far. No. I don't think so. Are we battling these guys? I don't think that that warrior is BS so far, but there are definitely some things that I would like to see be different. But I mean, whatever. Anytime I'm just gonna need a two K carry to turn. <laughs> can't can't always help you with that one. <laughs> but I bet we could get some. Uh, I bet we can get some alt, some alt uh, arena games going in at some point. That'd be fun. Wouldn't be against that. <clears throat> but yo, Chunkaroo, let me hit you with the flex in three months in a row, man. Appreciate the love, dude. Thank you very much and welcome back. Anybody in there? I'm, I'm, clear, I'm clearing this place out, man. No survivors. Alright. So we get one of these. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, that feels so bad. Oh my god. It really does. Hey B mess. Hit it with the flex, I appreciate the love. Thank you very much. Man, like I wanna be I wanna be excited and happy because the new expansion is gonna be cool, but like Charging in and just standing there and popping sweeping strikes. That is so bad. I really don't like the way that feels. And then I have to press this and wait a, wait a global cooldown before I attack again with Deadly Calm. That feels so, so yucky. I don't like that. But I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind, you know, the the general design of Warrior sweeping strikes, plus a smash. Ugh. I don't mind the, the fact that like overpower is in place of, uh, um, of plus a smash and stuff. Now that doesn't bother me. But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that that global the 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 GCD thing is just so bad. You you charge your opponent. And it's and charges on global cooldown too, so you can't like pop sweeping strikes mid charge. You have to charge, arrive at your opponent, and then just stand there and cast sweeping strikes. Holy moly! They got captured. Yo, get out of there, buddy. Oh, I bet Sourfang didn't like that she abandoned everybody, huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Sourfang. For the horde, baby! For the horde! Yeah, I'm with you! I'm with you, Sour Fang, for the horde! F Sylvanas! Look Taro Gar, baby! Let's go! I'm on your team! I salute you. 
Look, Taro Gar, brother. Alright. Yeah! F Sylvanas, dude. I'll never return to her horde either. Look at this. Ready for this, guys? Charge on global. Arrive, press sweeping strikes. Holy moly. Pop battle cry? <laughs> Not battle cry, but, but deadly calm. Stand there for a second. Then you can attack again. I don't know, man. I don't know. So I like to watch your streams because I feel safe here. Well, good. You don't swear talk about negativity. I do swear, and I will say, you know, if, in terms of if I have negative opinions about the beta, I will be definitely voicing those negative opinions. Just heads up. But, that my personality, my positive mindset, strength, and armor. Well, thank you, man. You're definitely welcome to hang out. But be warned, I will curse from time to time, and I'm not always going to be, you know, exclusively positive if I have, you know, if I have to offer some negative criticism, you know? Even, I, I try to make it constructive, but... Sometimes you do have to say if something if, like if the GCD thing doesn't feel good, you gotta let them know that, man. You gotta let them know that. Hey, Jorg, let me use flex for them. Twenty-one months in a row. Appreciate the love. Pop sweeping strikes before you charge in, right? But then you're then you're just wasting sweeping strikes. You're you're wasting time on sweeping strikes by doing that. You pop it. You wait a global. Then you charge, and you arrive at your opponent. It's already like two seconds later. You're wasting two seconds of a, of a ten second ability. Not sure that's really the best use of it. But maybe. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Thank you. My Definitely. You are they removed the ability to cancel Blazer with cancel or macro? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tested it. Uh oh. What happened? Who said lock it down? Mage Commander Lyra? Oh boy. Silenced. Am I not allowed to use abilities? I mean, I'm a warrior. I don't care if I'm silenced. Right? I don't care. That's why I'm a warrior. I don't have to worry about none of this magic silliness. I'm all muscle and metal, baby. How do we get out? This way. Muscle and metal, baby. That would be a mistake. It is the other way. Oh boy. You best be right. What you doing? Yeah, the, I'm not sure I like what you guys just did there. Alright, though. I'm not nearly as big as Brad, dude. No way. Not nearly as big as Brad. Deadly Calm? Now we can lay some damage into him? I don't know. Maybe they just want the game to be a little slower? I'm not really sure. I, I really don't think a slower game is, like, um, kind of like a good idea. I'm not sure why they're looking for that, but who knows. We'll see how things go. Maybe, maybe I just need to get comfortable. I have seen hmm. and not gonna like it. It's a very slow, I mean, it's a very fast global on charge anyway, but still. Let's rent everybody, dude. Get them. Get them. Those feel very slow, though. We'll see. We'll see. I did not watch the Q&A today, no. Did not. Favorite wild streamer and YouTuber? There's this, uh, there's this content creator by the name of Warcraft Jen. Um, who is just the best at everything. Including streaming and playing WoW. She's just the best. If you haven't checked her out yet, I recommend you do so. She owns. We got we got some more some elementals. All right. And scatter no elementals. They kind of have not very much HP though too, don't they? All right, all right. You get DPS meter on beta now. Cool. I might have to get one, huh? Might have to get one. The first 20 minutes was all about the GCD. Maybe I'll take a look at it then. Yeah, Jenny was owning me in duels on here, yeah. Oh. Little searchlights, huh? Alright. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm not scared of battle. 
Attention, citizens of Stormwind. Horde infiltrators have breached the stockades. Civilians uh -oh. are to remain in their homes until the threat has been subdued. So probably shouldn't just gank everybody, right? Probably shouldn't do that. We're under the under the shroud of Davudu. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Continue. Now, if I just stay right on top of this guy, would he, he probably will never lead me astray, right? If I just hang out with him. It's right here. Move quick. Off the path. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, but yeah, if, just just in case you guys haven't already, make sure you swing by my old YouTube's channel and check out some of my BFA Warrior feedback videos, because I, I don't think much has changed since I provided that feedback. You know. Let's go. Let's cross the bridge. But. The basics are, they haven't changed a ton. The ma Oh, what the? The changes they have made aren't that bad. Oh. Uh, but I think that I would like to see, there are certain things that I would like to see that aren't there. Andy. Andy Banduin. The big fella. Yeah, I, I haven't played much prot. Where can you see the Q&A? If you just go to the uh, twitch.tv slash warcraft twitch channel page and go to past broadcasts, I'm sure that you can find it. They may even have, a, have made a specific highlight that they've already named and stuff. That would be another option for you. Let's go. All the way to the docks. Sneaky, sneaky. Boom, 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 boom. I wonder what the advantage of is there if there is an advantage of using this guy's potion. I can't really imagine there being one. Because <laughs> he probably just would fail the scenario, right? Sounds like to me. Yeah, I imagine that they'll probably not have global cooldowns on mobility abilities, even though the even though the cooldown is very short. I don't know. It may be nothing. Well, not nothing. Uh oh. There's an ambush. Kill them before they get through. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Oh, is it like multiple? Oh, I see. Okay. That's weird. There's like multiple uh, entry points for these little rascals. Interesting. Does this thing actually have like a health bar on it? So I know how much of a beating it can take or no? Let's go! Just wait on some rage. That hurt me actually. Gotta get some victory rushes off of him then I suppose. Alright. Let's go. Run! <laughs> Gen's enraged. Look out. I like the the lighting in this. Looks neat. It's you know it's kind of like dark outside or whatever, but it looks looks cool for the evening time. All right, deadly calm, Foss of smash. Now we can actually do stuff. Oh man. Oh man, guys. Does not feel great. We'll see how it goes, though. Warrior on beta feels fine. Feels fine. What I what I have done in the past on stream is just sort of repeat the same thing over and over and over about how I how I generally think about warrior. But one of the best things you can do, if you want a more detailed uh, kind of thought process besides the one that I'm sort of giving you right now, which is mostly just me playing the game and seeing. Kind of take going through the motions of this little you scenario. You could probably look at my YouTube channel and look at some of my Arms Warrior feedback from BFA if you want to. Uh oh. Everybody's hanging out, spamming their AOE right now. Uh oh. What are we doing? <laughs> I probably shouldn't fight Jaina. Pretty tough. 
Boom, 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 boom. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Let's do this. We'll chop through, don't worry, let's go. We'll chop on through. Feels fine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not doing like a real intense breakdown right now. We, we've we've uh, talked through it quite a bit. Uh, one of the best things you can do probably right now is just look at the game plan. Obs observe. Feels fine. I think, I think there's some room for improvements, but... Once again, I'm just gonna try to play the game a bit and sort of actually see how it goes. But from what I played so far, it's not that much different. They've changed a few things rotationally. They've changed a few talents. Um, your cooldowns are different. But for the most part, it's very similar to Legion. You, I think you'd find. You failed your first time training. Well, you got it right that second time. Thank you very much, man. For the Super Saiyan Ascension, man. You can go even further beyond with it and do a badge cheer if you want to. Teach how to do it, or Nightbot will. Here we go. Oh, watch out. Well, watch out now. Just burn up everything as we go, huh? Run! Where are we going, dude? What's the plan? Bust through the icy barrier, okay. I mean, is this, is this really our plan? Thing's gonna not gonna die for a while. <laughs> really? Like should I? Alright. Oh, we gotta. Okay, okay. I see you. Okay, okay. I see you. Bringing up the dinosaur. All right, the spirit dinosaur. I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Oh boy. See, I wish I hadn't just used all my cooldowns on that wall, right? We probably could have generated another War Breaker pretty soon, but it's okay. We'll get one pretty soon anyway. Gotta keep spinning Rage. Anger Management Talent's pretty good for that, right? Rend them up, rend them up. And some of this stuff obviously just feels weird because it's like, it's a little bit different on my action bar. It's a slightly different rotation, so things might feel a little bit weird, but... The main thing that's kind of making me like feel icky is the is the GCD thing, but I already knew that. I already knew that was gonna make things feel weird, but whatever. I definitely, definitely hope that they uh, reconsider with that, but I'm not really sure why they did it in the first place, but I imagine that uh, that Q&A would offer some insight into why they decided that that was what they wanted to do. Still kind of confused by that, though, right? It's, I know, man, finally trying to, you know, gonna give Warrior a try, man. After all these years, thought it was finally, uh, about the time I, you know, actually tried my hand at a Warrior. <laughs> That's a Mr. Zombie. How's it going, dude? Stat switch is fault? I don't mind. It's, I don't think the, the stat switch is bad at all. I, I really don't mind that. I like that, actually. The stat squish? Not a big fan of the uh, the global cooldown change, though. That's what I'm not thrilled about. Big booty deeps right here. Oh, yeah. Warbringer or Warbreaker Bladestorm combo is pretty nice. For sure. We can pop this back here. Oh my god, I can't even charge. <sighs> like I popped, <laughs> I popped Deadly Calm and then wanted to like charge in after I after I pressed uh, Sweeping Strikes, but it's just like it's just gonna not let me do that. You just can't like. You just can't, like, I don't know. I don't think the idea should be to be able to do, like, to do less cool stuff. I don't think that's, like, a good idea. Like, less skillful, less cool stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well. 
Whatever. Maybe, you know, it's, maybe it's not like a... a... I, I, I don't like saying it, because I, I don't want it to be true, but like it's like they don't want it to be a PvP game. I don't know. Not sure. I don't. I mean, that, that can't be the case, right? Like, but maybe. Who knows? I don't know what happened with Ignore Pain for Pro. I'm not sure. I've mostly been playing Arms in BFA so far because Arms kind of has like the most changes. I'd say Fury's pretty much the same thing, but Arms feels a little different. I don't know. I feel like they've been lowering the skill ceiling since MOP. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Yeah, maybe so. All right. I mean, it gives a way too skill for defensive play because you get because you can counterplay people pop CDs, right? But you can counterplay anyway. You can counterplay defensive, I mean, offensive CDs anyway. But if the idea, like, really actually is to make offensive cooldowns mean nothing, because they they will always get just robotically countered by a defensive cooldown, like that's 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 encouraging even more defensive slow gameplay, which is bad for the game, in my opinion. So I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Not sure about that one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think a, I don't think a slower game is a, a you know a good thing for PvP. I think when the game is slow is when it's the most boring and you know at its least fun. Um, but I don't. I've said it before. My opinion doesn't govern policy with the game, but generally, you know, I feel like I've I've done a fair amount of PvP and I feel like I have a mostly good idea of not only what my opinions are but. The general like consensus for like high rated PvP. Now, not not everybody at high rated who does high rated PvP agrees with me, but I think usually most people don't really love having tanks at high rating. For example, I think that most people usually enjoy the game when it's a little bit faster, a pace of a game. You know, things like that. Just just small small details. I don't know. You've been even been glad, kid. Yeah, a few times. A <laughs> few times. I don't know what class you're hitting for somebody for half their HP in one global. But uh, I do, th I do think the offensive cooldowns should mean something, and I feel like they should mean something besides just a defensive response from another player. You know. And, and if you want it to be that way, where all offensive cooldowns are, are getting defensive cooldowns from, a, from an enemy player. And eventually they run out of defensives because offensive cooldowns have a shorter cooldown than defensive cooldowns. Uh, that's also kind of a uh, kind of a boring way to play, right? So your offensive cooldowns never really mean anything until your opponents have no defensives. So all the game is is just matching defensives for offensives until somebody doesn't have defensives anymore and loses. It's not really about playing well. I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. I like that idea. Yeah, people don't usually get hit for all half of their HP in one global nowadays. But then again, I think that offensive cooldowns should matter. So if you if you catch your opponent in a bad spot, what's this? And you pop your offensive cooldowns and do damage. You should be able to do damage for investing your cooldowns, even if they're even if they're matched by a defensive response shortly thereafter. Makes sense to me, that's fine. But what sucks is having your offensive cooldowns do nothing. That's just kind of lame. You know? You feel me? Doesn't feel good. We have oh well. Only a few moments alone. Yeah, I, I hope that they also address the item level issue. We've talked about that quite a bit before. Look at this guy, looks pretty cool. We talked about that quite a bit before, where I don't even really mind the random gear acquisition. I think they're changing that to make it have a vendor. That's fine. But the problem is that PvP, there's no incentive to do it. <laughs> Besides if you just enjoy PvP. Which is great. But, like for example, like, you know, we've been gearing up Bajathor and he's been getting the same item level from BGs as he gets for being a boosted character. 
which kind of sucks, you know? Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel great. But these are all issues that I've talked about before, and hopefully we'll... Everything everything takes time, even, even if, uh, you know, feedback is received. Um, it has to be discussed, it has to be, you know, you have to find out the right way to implement it. So even if you provide feedback, you also have to, you know, allow for some time to take to pass before, uh, you know, that ever sees a response, if it sees a response. So you got to give it time anyway. So I, we, we've talked about a lot of this stuff before. Um, haven't necessarily seen changes in the direction that I was interested in, but that's fine. I mean, I'm just one player, you know? Just providing feedback. I don't really expect it to be taken into and, and put in the game necessarily, but you just kind of, you know, one one more voice in the, hey, you know, that GCD on offensive cooldowns thing feels pretty bad. Uh, that's what just, there's one more voice, you know, on that side of things. Or, hey, you know, PvP gear is pretty, uh, if item level is the only thing that matters for PvP gear, then why is the item level so so low and makes PvP kind of pointless for people trying to you know increase their character's power? Like, you know, there's one more voice in that in that discussion too, you know. Yeah. Right. So gear, how you acquire gear, I think is much less important than PvP gear meaning something. So there's like an actual really important pro. We talked about. I talked about this for like an hour. Uh, when we got Bachelor to level 110. There's that one big problem, which is PvP gear is irrelevant. It doesn't, it's not useful for PvP, it's not useful outside of PvP. And there's this other issue like, I don't like that you that you acquire PvP gear randomly, and they're like, you, we got you on that one. You can have a vendor now to buy your worthless low item level gear that nobody is gonna use. For, aside, aside of, you know, uh, cosmetics. The problem remains, right? Doesn't, that, that, that doesn't really draw people into PvP, in my opinion. Hey, dummy devil, let me hit you with the flex for them 23 months in a row. Appreciate the love, dude. Thank you, thank you. It's still a game we love to play regardless. Sure, sure. But when the new expansion's coming out, that, get, that gives you an opportunity to sort of provide feedback to make it better. I will do right? Whatever I, must to keep. I think that's... As, as somebody who loves the game and who wants the best for it, that's, that's kind of one of the things I'm working on. Is trying to provide feedback that I think will help make the game better. Especially from my perspective as a PvP player. There's Zug Dug. Let me hit you the flex with them. Two months in a row. Thank you very much, man. Glad to be back, dude. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes. Ugh. All right. I need to eat a little bit more again. Yeah, sure, like I said, the the issue that I have with